Welcome back to PC Builder, I'm Jason. SSD prices have absolutely doubled. How the heck do you find the best SSD for Black Friday or Cyber Monday without blowing your entire budget? Don't panic, we're gonna go over what the heck's going on with SSD prices and why despite higher prices, you do not wanna wait to buy storage for your next build or upgrade. And we'll help you find the right SSD for your budget and performance needs. If you get value at this video, please give it a like, it makes a huge difference to the channel. And of course, subscribe for more cool PC content. Let's jump into it. This video is sponsored by Lenovo and their IdeaPad Slim 3X, 15 inch Snapdragon, an affordable laptop built to go anywhere for school, work, or personal use. Power of the Snapdragon X series, enjoy multi-day battery life and ultra responsive PC performance, even when unplugged on the go. Enjoy cutting edge on-device AI, powered by the Snapdragon X series processor, generating images, creating videos, and writing code in just seconds. And all at a price that fits into most budgets with an HDMI port, plenty of USB ports, and high quality screen and construction. Check out the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3X 15 inch with Snapdragon X processors using the links in the video description. Let's start off with should you be buying SSDs right now or should you be waiting maybe to 2026 or 2027? That's right, AI data centers right now are vacuuming up every SSD and RAM chip in sight as they spend hundreds of billions of dollars to expand those things and SSD prices are falling what happened to RAM prices last month and this month where they have tripled, tripled in price. If you're having challenges, by the way, with RAM, check out our Black Friday RAM buying guide. We go through everything that you need to know about what's the best RAM deals to get right now. Check that out and we continually update the deals in that video. But for SSDs, they're basically following the same pattern is RAM. They're just about a month or two behind right now. And prices right now for the SSDs themselves are going up, but all the other devices that use those SSDs will be going up next year, maybe even as soon as December. So you better be buying what you need right now. Check out our best SSD for gaming 2025 video for everything you need to know about SSDs. Just want to touch on a couple of very quick points so you know what SSD you should be buying. Let's start with gaming. There is no FPS difference between a PCIe Gen 3, a Gen 4, a Gen 5 NVMe SSD or even a SATA SSD. The big difference is jumping between a hard drive and an SSD. None of the other speed increases really help in terms of FPS, even with direct storage out there. I know some people are going to say, Jason, what about loading times? The PCI Gen 5 drives load the game so much faster. Well, TechSpot tested this not too long ago. I'll leave the full article link down in the video description. Let's look at one game here, which is basically the same as all the other games. The fastest PCIe Gen 5 NVMe out there loaded the game in 8.5 seconds. Now, this is the first time you load in the game, so that's typically the longest, 8.5 seconds. The slowest SATA SSD was 21.3 seconds. What is that, like less than 13 seconds difference? Less than 13 seconds difference between the slowest SATA drive out there, SSD drive, and the fastest PCIe Gen 5 NVMe SSD. Now, most of you are gonna wanna buy an NVMe NVMe SSD, they're super easy to install and they're roughly better priced than SATA SSDs are. So if we take a look at the difference between those, it's only about two seconds, two seconds. So here's my big advice. Do not overspend on super fast PCIe Gen 5 NVMe SSDs. Now I have noticed a couple of them are decently priced right now with some deals on them. So feel free to buy one if you see it on special, but just know, at least in gaming, you're not gonna get any additional performance and you will need a Gen 5 NVMe SSD slot on your motherboard, as well as a Gen 5 capable CPU in order to take full advantage. One of the questions I'm sure we'll get is, do you need a SSD with DRAM on it? Now we talk a lot about this in our best SSD for gaming 2025 video, so you can check that out what I mean by DRAM versus DRAMless. Here's the thing, if you are outside of gaming, moving a lot of files and writing them to your drive on a regular basis, like for instance, right now I am recording this at 4K60 at a high bit rate. That's a lot of stuff to write to a drive and I'm recording it through OBS and I'm writing it to the drive on the PC sitting right next to me right now. So I have some really high performance drives with DRAM caches on them. Unless you're doing something like that, you can go DRAMless pretty easily. And right now the price difference is about $30 per terabyte difference between DRAM DRAM and DRAM less. Let's jump into some SSD deals here and let's talk about the difference in pricing between one terabyte, two terabyte, and four terabyte models. If you're wondering, Jason, do I get some kind of volume discount for going up? The answer is 
Largely, yes, unless prices have been raised unevenly. Let's take a great example here of a drive I strongly recommend you buy before prices go up, and it will go up. This is Clevcraft C910, a one terabyte DRAMless drive that I recommend a lot for kind of starter gaming PC builds. The one terabyte version here is $79. Two of those, for instance, would cost $160, right? But we can see the two terabyte version here is $142. Well, two two terabytes would cost $284, right? But instead, we see it's $260 to get a four terabyte model. And this pricing largely is holding through a lot of different models out there. It may change. However, if you're thinking about going up in terms of total amount of storage, it's probably a good time to do so because it is a lot better deal per terabyte. Let's jump in the best SSD deals that I can find for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and the holiday shopping season. Remember, everything's linked down in the video description. We will keep updating that list, just like we do on all of our other Black Friday videos with the current best deals that we're finding right now. So if you see something here that's not linked down there, it means it went out of stock or if you see something down there that's not mentioned here, it means we found a better deal. So let's start off with a really good deal here. This is the Western Digital Blue SN5000, one terabyte for $66. This is the cheapest one terabyte I can find out there right now by quite a bit. About $80 is about the kind of low watermark. This is essentially under the lowest price out there. Two terabytes is only $124. That is insane right now. The great thing about this particular drive, this is the older version of the drive. There's also the SN5100 that recently came out. Both of these are very good performance. They have very, very large SLC caches on them. So despite the fact that they don't have DRAM, they actually perform really well in kind of moderate write loads out there, which I really like, especially for gamers. This would be a really great drive. $66 for one terabyte right now seems like an impossible dream and it may sell out. All right, let's jump over to deal at Newegg right now. So we've got the PNY XL8. Now this really is the CS3140 M.2. Now if you're wondering, I like to check reviews of these drives. This is a well-reviewed drive for what it is, which is a budget NVMe SSD out there. Right now, $84, but don't sleep on those promo codes. This is a promo code for $10 off. So it's actually $74 right now. It's a great deal. Lisa, what you doing? Another great drive here is the Clevcraft C910. Again, one terabyte right now at $79. Now, I will say, Clev, like a lot of brands out there, is raising their prices. Here's what you're looking for right now, because I'm sure some of the prices you're going to see right now, if you're watching this two weeks from now, the prices will probably be quite a bit higher. What you're essentially looking for is some folks are raising their prices really aggressively. For instance, you're not going to notice any silicon power drives. I often have recommended silicon power. They've been really good value, but they've been among the most aggressive in raising their prices right now, and their drives are frankly overpriced. Clev has not, on the other hand, they're kind of keeping prices relatively affordable. Now they are a little bit more of a lesser known brand out there, but their drives are pretty good. And $80 right now, that's about the going rate. Let's jump into some higher capacity drive deals right now for DRAMless drive. Then we'll get to the DRAM drives that I'm finding as well. Right now, Best Buy has got the Crucial P310 on for Black Friday deal, $239. This is the cheapest by far Gen 4 NVMe SSD out there that's four terabytes. I'm noticing four terabyte drives are not going up quite as fast as one and two terabytes. Maybe just because they don't sell as often. I don't really know, but pick this one up if you can. Uh, some other good deals right now, $270 to $280 seems to be about where these drives are going for. Western Digital SN5000 over here at Amazon as well. The four terabyte right now for $265, pretty good deal. And then I know people get super excited for anything with Samsung's name on it, but the 990 Evo Plus is a DRAMless SSD. This is not the same as the 990 Pro out there, which we will talk about in just a moment. However, Samsung has done a pretty good job and typically around these kind of Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales, they usually do lead the way in terms of some price discounts out there. Right now, $269 for a relatively good performing DRAMless drive. And in fact, some of these newer DRAMless drive outperform DRAM drives, older DRAM drives in some of the more common workloads out there, $269, pretty good deal. Let's jump into some DRAM drives out there that are really great values right now. Check all the links down in the video description because check out this deal right now. The Clevcraft C930 one terabyte with DRAM on it has not increased in price. It's been $89 for quite a while. Meanwhile, all the other DRAM drives have for one terabyte have increased in price. This is by far the cheapest out there right now. And the great thing about this, by the way, if you're looking for a drive for PS5, 
It comes with a heat sink here, so you can either use the graphene sticker on top of it, or you can use the heat sink on it if you need this for like a PS5 or something like that. $89 right now, and if the two terabytes also really well priced, it is $143 for the two terabyte model. Now, I haven't mentioned a lot of team group drives because team group, not only with SSDs, but with RAM pricing has been super aggressive about raising your prices. Team group, I'm keeping my eye on you. But right now, at least over at Amazon, the Cardea A440. This is a one terabyte drive with DRAM, $99. The two terabyte model, not as well priced out there. Now it's better than buying two one terabytes of these, but this is the next step up, especially if that crash goes out of stock. If you're looking for two terabyte drives right now, there's a banger of a deal. The Aorus Gen 4 7300. This is a phenomenally performing drive, by the way. Two terabytes for $149. You got that right. The one terabyte's not great price. It's about $100. Again, it's not bad price, but $149 for two terabytes is a steal. We also have the Samsung 990 Pro. Like I said, Samsung has done really well with their pricing, despite the fact they are overcharged during non-sale prices. During sales, they tend to come in with very competitive pricing. $169 right now for the 990 Pro, which is a high-performance prosumer level driver, a really professional level drive out there, $169, this is a great value. Jumping into some high capacity four terabyte NVMe SSDs with DRAM. So these are really like professional level, high capacity drives. Samsung 990 Pro right now is probably the best of the bunch, $299, again, it's only about 30 or $40 more than the drives that we looked at before that were DRAMless four terabyte drives. It's on Super Black Friday sale. Who knows how much longer it will be on sale, but if you do see it, I would buy this one. Of course, if that goes out of stock, another one to check out is the Western Digital Black SN850X, another high performance NVMe SSD and four terabytes out there. You can also pick up higher capacity drives, eight terabytes. They do get super crazy priced really, really fast. I would probably focus on four terabytes. This is my second option. If you're like, Jason, I have to have the absolute fastest drive out there. It's gotta be PCI Gen 5. I've got the motherboard for it. I'm not worried about bifurcation on my GPU slot for it. Then check out the Samsung SSD 9100 Pro, four terabyte. This is again, a super Black Friday deal right now. It's on for 369 couple of cautions with this drive. It runs insanely hot, insanely hot. This version of it does not come with a heat sink. So either put it on your motherboard that has a heat sink, one of the slots that has a heat sinks on it, or get the one with the heat sink for about 20 to $40 more because it definitely needs it. And it could even do with a little bit of airflow. Remember, everything is linked down in the video description. Check those out. We'll keep updating for the best SSD deals that we find over Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and the holiday shopping period. And also check out all of our other Black Friday shopping guides down there, especially for RAM. Check that out. If you get value out of this video, please give a like and of course subscribe for more cool PC content. And we'll catch you on the next one.